Hello gardening friends, and welcome back to the Humus Heritage. If you're serious about transforming your garden soil from mediocre to magnificent, today's conversation is one you absolutely cannot afford to miss. We're settling the debate that's been whispered about in gardening circles for generations, which manure truly reigns supreme for building rich living humus that turns ordinary garden beds into thriving ecosystems. The Great Manure Debate Why this battle matters to your garden Picture two gardens side by side. One explodes with deep green foliage, produces abundant harvests, and seems to shrug off pests and diseases with ease. The other struggles along with pale leaves and stunted growth. And soil that looks more like lifeless dust than living earth. The difference between these two gardens often comes down to one critical factor, the quality and type of organic amendments feeding the soil. Today we're putting livestock manure and chicken manure head-to-head -head in a comprehensive analysis of their humus-building powers, decomposition dynamics, and practical applications. By the end of this guide, you'll know exactly which amendment deserves the spotlight in your garden strategy. Livestock manure, Falstan Stenvron Stakin dot Meiser, the foundation builder. So, let's start with the gentle giant of the manure world. Livestock manure, especially from cattle and horses, brings something extraordinary to your garden that goes far beyond just simple fertilization. This amendment is really about building long-term soil architecture. When properly composted livestock manure breaks down in your beds, it creates a stable matrix of organic matter that transforms the physical structure of your soil at a foundational level. The magic happens because livestock have lengthy, complex digestive systems that break down plant materials extensively before they're excreted. The result is manure with a broader, more balanced nutrient profile and a higher percentage of stable organic compounds. These materials decompose slowly and steadily, releasing nutrients over extended periods while simultaneously improving soil aeration, water retention, and aggregate stability. Think of it as the difference between a quick sugar rush and sustained energy from complex carbohydrates. Livestock manure provides that sustained release. The composting process for livestock manure requires patience but, you know, it really rewards you handsomely. Fresh manure mixed with its bedding materials needs to be piled to adequate dimensions, roughly 4 to 6 feet high and 3 to 5 feet wide, to generate sufficient heat for proper decomposition. Regular turning, about weekly, distributes heat and oxygen throughout the pile while, honestly, moisture levels should remain at that perfect damp sponge consistency. So, the entire process from fresh collection to finished, dark, crumbly compost takes several months of active composting, followed by an additional curing period of about two to six months. This extended timeline, you know, allows for pathogen elimination, weed seed destruction, and the complete mellowing of ammonia levels that could otherwise harm tender plant roots. Now let's talk about the powerhouse that is chicken manure. If livestock manure is the marathon runner building endurance chicken manure is the sprinter delivering explosive performance, the difference, honestly, traces back to avian biology. Chickens possess remarkably short, efficient digestive tracts that concentrate nutrients rather than breaking them down extensively. The result is an amendment with dramatically higher nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium levels compared to livestock alternatives. This concentration means chicken manure acts as a biological accelerant in your garden ecosystem. When properly composted chicken manure enters your soil, it immediately stimulates explosive microbial activity. Beneficial bacteria and fungi multiply rapidly, breaking down organic matter at accelerated rates and releasing nutrients in forms plants can absorb almost immediately. You'll see the results within weeks as plants respond with deeper green foliage, vigorous growth, and remarkable productivity. However, this power demands respect and proper handling. Fresh chicken manure is genuinely hot with ammonia levels and nutrient concentrations that can chemically burn plant roots and foliage on contact. 
The composting process for chicken manure is therefore non-negotiable. You must mix the nitrogen-rich manure with substantial carbon materials like dry leaves, straw, or wood shavings to achieve a balanced carbon-to-nitrogen ratio around 25 to 1. The pile needs careful monitoring to reach and maintain internal temperatures between 130 and 150 degrees Fahrenheit for at least 15 days, with multiple turnings to ensure thorough pathogen destruction. After this hot phase, a curing period of several months transforms the material into a concentrated soil-like amendment that looks and smells remarkably like premium potting mix. Consider building your composting strategy around this synergy. Use livestock manure as your base amendment, working generous quantities into beds during fall preparation or early spring before planting. This establishes the foundational humus structure. Then, you know, strategically supplement with modest applications of chicken manure when plants enter their heavy feeding phases or when you need to give struggling beds a biological boost. This combined approach gives you the best of both worlds, stable, resilient soil, architecture with the capacity for explosive productivity when you need it. The true mastery comes from, well, understanding your specific garden's needs and adjusting your amendments accordingly. New beds breaking ground and poor soil benefit enormously from livestock manure's structural improvements. Established beds with healthy soil structure but declining fertility respond beautifully to chicken manure's nutrient density. Heavy feeders like tomatoes, peppers, and brassicas really thrive with chicken manure's nitrogen punch, while root crops and perennials often, you know, perform better with livestock manure's gentler sustained release. Start experimenting with both, and honestly, just observe how your plants and soil respond. Adjust your approach based on real results rather than, uh, sticking to dogma. If this guide has opened your eyes to the nuanced world of soil amendments, make sure you subscribe to the Humus Heritage channel so you never miss our upcoming deep dives into composting techniques, soil biology, and organic gardening strategies that actually work. Share this guide with fellow gardeners who are ready to move beyond basic fertilization and truly master the art of building living soil. Your garden's transformation starts today.